A lot of people are having performance issues with CD Projekt Red's latest title, Cyberpunk 2077. And I'm starting to wonder, was this just an optimization issue, too ambitious, or other issues overall? And I got into Noclip in the game and started looking around to find some interesting things and then started to realize how the entire environment is rendered. So here you can see, and there are massive spoilers here, so I'm sorry about that if you want to avoid spoilers. Your streams are going to have to go off this video, but we're in the Johnny segment scene after the Arasaka nuclear tower incident. Now you can see this room, you should recognize this room. And the most interesting part of it for a start is it has more high quality textures than most of the game. You can read the newspaper clips, the articles, you can see the side of these canisters and containers and read everything in really high quality actually, more so than the base game, where I say the newspapers are so blurry I can't read a thing, and some of the advertisements on the vending machines are even blurry I can't read a thing. And you would be like, well maybe it's because the Johnny area is an isolated environment, you know, it's it's allowed to have much higher graphical fidelity or some other crap like that. But then you would realize that, hey, how did you get to that area? Oh right, there's no loading screen, so it must be rendered somewhere in the world. And it is. It's below the main city. So when you are below, or should I say when you're in the Johnny environment and you're in that little isolated one tiny room, you are rendering a full city around you, including all the AI, paving, particle effects, grass, water, illuminations, everything. And this is to alleviate a loading screen, I would assume, anyway, as that's what CD Projekt Red was boasting about very much in this game, it wouldn't have loading times. But it seems like to do that they've had to compromise optimization. And this isn't something that can just be fixed because fundamentally the entire game has been built around this concept. Now, I'm not going to make this a longest video, but it is interesting as you can see that everything is rendered. And I just wanted to get it out there. Maybe that is why the game is so unoptimized. CD Projekt Red is just rendering everything around you constantly no matter where you're at. And again, some of this might be lower uh, graphical fidelity, but a lot of the time it's not, and they're rendering way too much, and it's just, it's just causing issues with PCs, and this honestly needs immediately fixing. 